and welcome back to Hair to Hero with Hair to Berlin on Football Manager 2020 with me, Foggy Plays. Today we are taking on Atletico Madrid in the second leg of the first knockout round of the Champions League. And as you can see from the screen in front of you, we are 3 1 down from the first leg. We did score an away goal, but we hit a bit of poor form around this time and uh, mm, didn't quite go to plan. Uh, Man United have knocked Bayern Munich, who went and sacked their manager after that result, which, you know, one of the biggest teams in Germany is now without a manager. Um, Benfica also destroyed PSG, 5-2 on aggregate. Uh, since you were here last um, for the game against Fortuna Dusseldorf, as you can see, form has been interesting. Marius Wolf. Scored a penalty for Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Pokal, which wasn't great. Uh, there was three minutes of added time. As you can see, they scored in the 96th minute. So, you know, fantastic. Uh, then we went and got beaten by Hamburg, 2-0. We just never really showed up to the game, to be fair. We were just, we were extremely poor. It was, it was hard to watch. Uh, then we beat Wolfsburg, 3-2, Esposito, Kyle George and Garvidal scoring for us then we went to Atletico Madrid and as I said didn't quite go to plan the team didn't play all that well Thomas Lamar played that left back and they still managed to win the game that shows how bad we were uh, we went then and beat Bear Leverkusen 3-0 Arne Meyer Esposito and Velasco all scoring then we smashed Schalke 4-1 Pablo Gentile sent off in the second minute for elbowing a player they scored the opener and then we decided, yeah, actually we might start playing football now. So we did. Um, also, Jonathan David, I took off in the second minute in that game. He, he threw a little hissy fit, now he wants to leave. So, and then, <laughs> and then we beat the team that were sitting second at the time. I think they're still second now. Um, RB Leipzig, 1-0. Michael scored an absolute worldly of a goal. But Bundesliga-wise, we are 11 points clear. In the league, fantastic. As you can see, top two goal scorers are our players. The guy in third used to be our player. Uh, Sandro Tonali is still sitting at the highest average rating, even though he's left for Tottenham. We almost signed Tonali and we decided against it. How's he been getting on at Spurs? Is it a bad idea? Mm, 56 million is a lot of money. Maybe we did the right thing. Anyway. Um, as you can see, Carlos Mina, who's been questionable form recently, is the highest assist maker. We are sitting pretty on top, 11 points ahead of Leipzig and Mainz, as I said. Bayern Munich went down in fifth. Borussia Dortmund are still sitting in eighth. It's been, the league has been quite strange recently. It's similar to what it was last year. Teams are kind of not really wanting to win the league, but this is how we are lining up today. We did change to a 4-2-3-1 for a short while. It was working-ish, but it was also not working. So I just made a couple of tactical tweaks to the 4-2-4. But we are going to start with Bingham and goal. Alec and Michael as our wing-backs. Giorgio and Galvidal in centre-back. Svazley and Arne Meyer in central midfield. Mina and Velasco as our wide men. Kyle George and Esposito up front. Xerxi still hasn't scored for us. Um, he's played plenty of games, just doesn't seem to want to score. Uh, Tabito, I feel like we spent 85 million on trash in the January transfer window. And this is why I don't normally sign pairs in the January transfer window, who I think are going to make it into the first team. Because generally, they're not good enough. So they've... Interesting. Okay. Saul is playing at left back in this game. Lamar is playing attack midfield. Murad is playing up front, which he wasn't doing last time. Regani doesn't play this game. He's on the bench. The striker they had in the last game um, was insane. The guy, Kiri, was an absolute weapon of a striker. I am glad he's not playing today. We are going to avenge what happened last time. Okay, let's see how we get on. Hopefully... Because that away goal, if we just score twice, we're fine. If we concede, we're in trouble. 
but I'm hoping that we don't can see oh there's a ball play wins the ball back from poor pass Kyo George oh Oblak gets a touch with Velasco Oblak gets another touch gets another save Oblak is such a hard goalkeeper to, to beat and Clivert another player we consider signing uh, who we didn't sign because we had De La we didn't need him Brimpong Gervin no nonsense, just boot it out of here, get it away. They seem to have a major issue at left back with the fact that they're playing Souler today and had Lamar there in the first leg. I think Mina should be having a better time playing on the left side. Um we, we you know we need to you know we need to do something. We've injured their right back. So it's probably going to be screamy shouty time at uh, half time because we're not really getting involved. Mina, back to Alec. Like we have two very, very good players on the right side playing against a midfielder as left back. Mina's true. And he's just put it wide. Oh, are we going to get knocked out by Atletico Madrid? We see Mina. Gets it across and it gets cleared. Morada clears it even further. Arne Meyer whips it out to Mina who gets past his man. Esposito gets the rebound off Oblak. We are one up on the night. 3-2 on aggregate. We could conceivably with another goal go through to the next round. Oh my left back is suffered ankle in ligament injury or something was it god got an avenge what happened last time um he should be fine to continue yeah he's fine uh space oh, what one space oh, i need you all to like i'm gonna individually talk to everyone i don't normally individually talk to everyone but I said I was unhappy. It's fired him up. Okay, Arne Meyer. Are you going to do the business in the second half now? Because you I said you weren't good enough. Stengs, or to Gomez, who came on as a substitute, puts Morata through. And Bingham, having none of it. None of it. Gervidal. Giorgio. Gets it forward to Mina. Oh, he's cut inside. He's cut in and... What a save by Oblak. Mina. Oblak with the catch. That was fairly comfortable. We're going to demand more. We really should be doing better than this. Gervidal. Whips it out to Mina. Oh, poor pass back to Alec. And now Atletico are on the break. Morada. Jorge a beautiful tackle. For some reason, Mina went all the way back to the keeper. Gervidal. Michael. Velasco, poor, poor pass by Velasco, Stengs, Gomez, he's playing quite a, quite high, we should really be taking advantage of that, but it seems as though our players don't really, oh, Giorgio off the line, come on, a bit of creativity, come on, Velasco and Kyle George not playing well today. Velasco could possibly be the next one to come off. Oblak is very far out. He's lucky he didn't lose the ball there. And they bring it down their right side again. Gervidal heads away. Koke. De Jimenez goes all the way back to Oblak. Two players running him down. Why wouldn't either of them go at like a different angle the two of them just ran straight at him Clavert gets the ball across but Michael heads it back to Bingham Giorgio big ball forward Esposito lands it on to Kyo George at the second attempt Kyo George gets it in we are now in the driving seat if it stays like it is we are going through to the next round of the Champions League Esposito beautifully nodded down to Kyo George if Oblak hadn't saved that, it was going to go wide. 
So, his own fault. Uh, Velasco, I know there's a corner just coming up. Velasco's coming off. Number one, Xerxes. Two play on the left. Lemaire, which is in, but supposedly hit their boots are clear. Velasco, Kyler George picks it up. Poor pass to Michael. Stings. Come on, we need to, we need to stop this. Nick this in the all right. Well, we've slowed them down significantly. They're just building quicker now. Supposedly, walks into the poor pass. Jorginho supposedly puts Kyler George through. Can he get past this man? He does. Gets it across. Esposito. How's Esposito offside? I'm not so sure about that now. Right, we're going to demand more. Xerxes is on. And the first thing he does is get the, win the ball back. So beautifully tackled. Beautifully tackled. Beautifully timed tackle. Alec, Giorgio, Mina, down to Savazzi. They're playing beautiful football here. Arne Meyer, out to Alec. Can he get it across? He does. Kyle George heads over. We're going to move Garvidal to left back because um, Michael is tiring. We're going to bring on Tavito. Hopefully that's not a mistake. I feel like it could be, but this is what we're going to do. I paid 30 million for him. I expect him to be able to play football. Right, we're going to demand more. Garvidal's picked up booking. Two minutes left. We're going to make a substitution. Of Alagoff for Kuskundere. Yeah. Um, I have Jonathan David on the bench. Not sure why. I have no intention of bringing him on. Lamar. Offside. Jimenez offside. He was. Okay. That's fine. Koke. Origi. It's an own goal. No. Okay. <laughs> Origi was off. I was going to say. How was Brain Bingham? <laughs> or goalkeeper was offside. Makes sense. Uh, we have just about snuck through. That was. I apologize to anybody. Um. Oh, want to come back. Superb effort. I apologize to anybody who uh, had headphones on when I made that weird screamy noise. That was... At least both our strikers scored. That's the main thing. We had two strikers on the pitch. Both of them actually managed to get a goal. And Liverpool demolish Schalke. 5-2. Hmm. Roar back to win on away goals. That uh, first leg goal we scored was quite important we received 8.18 million for winning that game as far as I get the man of the match without having an assist or a goal uh, Liverpool or yeah Liverpool are back in they want to pay 145 million for him no 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 200, 200 and something 200 plus 200 plus Claudio, Ranier, Gen bleh, Claudio Ranieri is Italy boss interesting um, so that is that. Next, we want, we don't know who is in the next round yet. We still have more games to be played next week. So Roma and Barcelona are one off from the first leg. Real Madrid are ahead against Bayer Leverkusen. Wolfsburg and Chelsea through two three, and Juventus are behind against Lille. So we find out whom we're are playing in the next round, and the second leg of that will be in the next episode. We're also getting very dangerously close to the end of the league season it's looking fairly comfortable at the moment so I don't expect I don't expect us to bottle it but at the same time it is us and we've bottled this season many a time um, but we are sitting comfortably on top 9 games to go 11 point advantage could conceivably win the league again but we'll just wait and see that would be 
for the next episode we find out how we're how we're doing on that so we will be back in the next episode for the second leg against whoever it may be in the champions league if you have enjoyed please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe or dislike leave an angry comment unsubscribe do if you haven't subscribed already and you don't like the video then make sure to subscribe then unsubscribe but let me know in the comments that you did it because otherwise i'll never know thank you very much for watching fellas and i'll see you in the next one bye